distance by that twist. But when I'm on the inside line, I have to step into it with a push step. So what I want to do is I want to just kind of, okay. Bruce had said you had to have a, a I'll use a better term, than, uh, it's a screw you attitude, okay? Or to heck with you attitude, but it's a different word than that. So we used to actually, we made a say it. You know, but I'll just do it one time. So it's got to be, can you hold this a second? It's got to be like this. I don't want to go like that. I'm from San Francisco and kind of go, when he punches, kind of go. Like that, I want to go. <laughs> See the eyes? Okay, I want to really get that warrior thing going. Okay. Like that, all right? Okay, let's do it. My grandmother would all. Now just be careful you don't take his eye out of it. kind of go above it. But see, I can't wait for him to just kind of go like this, pass it. I've got to just go. Okay? Thank you. Dr. Phil probably just sat and not teach you anymore, I guess. But. So he's in 11 lead, and I'm a little bit off here, and there's the, so that I'm open for his, the danger in boxing is the front hand hook is one of the, the main knockout punches in boxing. So, you may people say, well, I can just go like this and when he punches up. But if you miss, you're going to get knocked out. So, when he hooks, hook, hard, fast. Fast. Oh, how are you doing over there? Having a good time. Huh? See, the hook is about But here's how you train it. It's not that simple. When you start out with your hook, one, like this, then I hook. Once I get it, and remember the old things, the corkscrew hook and the old Dollar JKD? Everybody ever read the Dollar JKD? What the hell the corkscrew hook is? Well, this is it. This is how you use it. So, what I'm doing is I'm hooking inside this hook. Safety back, I start off with one, two. Then all I'm doing is hooking inside this hook. So, this elbow is hitting here. I'm hooking inside. So, the harder he hooks, the more damage I'm doing. But the problem is, Two problems. One, he's doing that not to stay the rhythm. The second problem is this is too hard to control. So, I, so see, I start to go here, and there's the hook. All you do is just turn it into a work screw hook. This shoulder's up, and this is up just to protect you, just in case. Okay? So you gotta get the feeling. See right there. You wanna feel it one time? To your left knees. footwork has a purpose. The purpose of the lead step, the purpose of the push step is to deliver a hand blow. Okay? The purpose of the, of the step and slide is to maintain or break the fighting nature. So when I move forward, you move back. I step and slide, step and slide. So he, he's at the same time getting a little bit closer to it, so that's not good. So move back as far as you can get back. And okay, good. Now, that's the step and slide. I'm going to do it actually Okay, because I'm not stepping and sliding. Okay, I'm stepping and stepping. So, this time, this is harder than hell. How everybody seems to have a JKD. This foot flat, this heel flat. Actually, I'm on a ball of both feet. And then when I step, I step and step. Just like that. You can run over here. Looks kind of bad. So I wanted to try that. Go up and down a little bit for that. So you got, uh, you're on both, both, uh, ball of both feet, and when you step, step, step. All right? I'm going to do a step and slide. I'm going to tuck, hit, hit. Okay, so when I hit the first time, he moves away from me. Hit, hit. Okay? That's step and slide, step and slide. I'm going to go step and step. So I hit and then I hit. You see, I hit it. Because when I step and step, watch. Wait, let me try to do it here now. Let's see. So you can see it. Here's step and slide, step and slide. Here would be step and step. I'm using the same. But what I did was 
When I stepped, I stepped up to here, and then stepped to there. So I gained about this much distance. So first of all, do it this way first. Step and step using the same thing. So he's here, and I'm going to lead step, and then step. So I'm going to lead step and then step. See the difference? Okay, try that. Both of us have that. That much. Is whether he's in a left lead or a right lead, it doesn't really matter. But uh, this is curve right arms. Everybody was doing your step left, step right, so I know you guys know how to do that. Curve right simply means what I want to do is I want to end up, if we're matching steps, I want to end up between his two legs. So my front foot is between his two legs. I don't want to end up with my two legs between his front foot. So what it basically is, is he's got his guard up here, maybe he's got it like that or whatever like that. And when I step out, I'm going to step out, my hand goes first, it goes like that, and I end up over here. Okay, that's what we call the slanted punch. But what it is, all I'm doing is just stepping, hitting, step, step, so I'm like that, okay? And to get that right, let's get a focus glove so we can play with it first. Let's do it without the focus glove to get the distance first, don't do it with focus glove. So what I'm doing here is, from this position, I'm going to punch, like that. Now, what happens is this is open and this is open for straight blasting. If he's got his left lead, which is going to be more common, that doesn't matter too because when I step out this way, now I have two hands against his one. He's going to have to adjust his stance. Or I'm going to go here and here. Okay? So you can do as many as the right lead, left lead. I don't care. All you're going to do is you're going to go boom, like that and step out. And this time, I don't want to be where my foot's between his and right here. Let's do it right to right to get the foot placement correct. So you're between them. So I'm going here, just like that. Okay? And if you're like this, then show them by kicking. All right? Let's do that. What you're going to do is you want to make sure that you don't go and then hit what I want to do before the foot touches the ground. Now if I go here, See the difference? So that all the power is going into the punch. Just like that. Alright? Let's do it. Hand goes right. Curve left is supposedly, see, curve right is easy. Go here, go like that. Curve left is supposed to kind of step out and go this way. Okay? I don't like that. But what I use it for is to step out and kick. Because that's the same thing. Instead of dragging your foot like this, this is step left, we'll move curve left. Step left is like this, curve left, and then move forward in this way. Which is okay if I'm going to get a kick in. But I don't like the hands. Now, um, I only learned this from, uh, from Ted Long. It's not Ted Long or Bruce because it breaks the rules. The basic rule is you never cross your legs. Okay? That's a basic rule. But Bruce did what's called a quick step. And uh, he, he told uh, the story to Val Bremer about developing this and how it's against the rules was that when he started working on the boxing punch with the, the snap of the elbow, he picked that up and saw the snap of the elbow. The Wing Chun guys believed that, you know, if, you, if he punches and the elbow is straight like that, you break the arm. So he punches like that and you break the arm. And Bruce said, shit, you can't even block, let alone do that. So he would okay, go ahead and break it. Right. So it's ideal with this is the same thing. It's so damn fast, it doesn't matter if you cross the leg. So when he punches now, see where I am? But I broke all the rules, but I did it pretty quick. So what I'm doing is going like that. So I step forward like that. So what I'm doing is I just crash the line here. See, now if you're a grappler or whatever you want to do, you can do it. See where my position is. So if I step left, or curve left, it's so passive, it's a one-two. I go this way.
and got that distance here, and he comes with a rear with a rear tight here. Go over here. See what I'm doing? Is I'm taking that step and putting that shoulder forward, and that goes right there. Because normally the head is wide open. So all you have to do is just find a boom right there. Okay? Boom right there. That's what I want you to do with your back. And you got to do some back kick. But you don't want to way to hell over here.